Hello Cancers, this is your weekly video for September 28th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I do daily TikTok videos if you want to watch any of those. Please feel free to go over there. All my information is down below in the description box that you need to know about me. Alright, so if you like your video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you resonate. Share, subscribe. Comment if you want to. Spirit, what do you have for my Cancer Babies for this week? So we're going to get general messages first. Then we're going to get what you don't see coming towards you or some kind of advice from the universe. And then I'm going to pull from an oracle deck for advice from the universe. Alright, so off the jump we have the Two of Cups. There is a very uh, emotional conversation you're going to have with somebody. It's like, I want to tell you exactly how I feel about something. We have the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. You don't have to be. We also have the Nine of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. I'm going to take all of these, by the way. The Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, the star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, you don't have to be. The Hanged Man, you could be dealing with a Pisces, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. So I do see air, I see earth. I don't see any fire. And I see water. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And that's and uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, bottom deck energy is the Two of Pentacles. So there is something that you're trying to balance out. You could be um, kind of debating back and forth as as to what you are actually trying to balance out. I feel like you're having a heart to heart with somebody from um, things that you've learned about yourself. I feel like lately you have been doing a lot of digging deep within. Um, trying to figure out certain things within yourself. What makes you tick? With the Nine of Cups, I feel like that you've been trying to understand your own emotions. Why do you feel a certain way about whatever it is? I, I feel like that there could be certain things that you think about, either with a person or with a certain situation, and it just pisses you off. And it and it sends you into all kinds of emotions. It could make you sad, could make you feel depressed, and I feel like that this is what you're questioning. The reason why I say that is because we do have the Five of Cups, which is a sense of mourning something it's a sense of being depressed or being sad that certain cups have fa fallen over but what you're not looking at are the cups that are still standing the cups that are still standing you can still continue to build on them but you're focused on the falling cups right now so I feel like that there could be certain things within that you're you're searching like why do I feel like this um what is stimming this and I feel like that you're trying to get to the core of it by talking to a certain individual about it it's like I want a new beginning with you I want something that's more stable I want something to come back I want us to be steady again and I feel like when it comes to the ace of pentacles there could be a new beginning that comes from this talk um that is more grounding is something that um is going to help you especially focus on yourself with the nine of pentacles um which is a very good wish fulfillment card so it's like you're putting work into making yourself more stable you're putting work into making things more solid it could be within a certain friendship or a love interest could be even a family member you and a family member coming back together but you're trying to make things more balanced and there's healing that's involved here. And I feel like that you do understand, uh, cancers, that this is what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. You're kind of hung up on how you're going to make this happen and how you're going to make this clarity come out. With the Ace of Swords, it tells me there is a brand new beginning of clarity. I feel like... Um, you have all the knowledge that you need. I think that you just have stage fright. Like, how am I going to talk to this person about it? How am I going to bring it up? How am I going to release these emotions? How am I, how am I, how am I, how, 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 how? Just do it. Be a Nike and just do it. Okay? And no, I'm not getting paid for endorsements. 
So it's like, um, you're trying to get this clarity, you're trying to get this clarity out, but you're not sure how it's going to come across or how it's going to be received. And so you could be stuck in your head a little bit with how you're going to present yourself. And that's where the whole debate comes in when, when it comes to the two of pentacles. You know, um, you could be placing something out there. Maybe somebody else that you want to talk to about this. They have their side of the story as well. You know. But I do feel like you want to clear the air on something. Something that's making you very sad. That just is not, has not been working for a while. And you want to get it working again. You want to get it back solid. You want to, you want something that you can trust again. Okay. So we're going to look and see what you don't see coming. Spirit, what is coming towards cancers that they do not see coming? What does Cancers not see coming towards them? What do Cancers not see coming towards them? We do have a tower here. There is going to be a rebuild. Once you have the clarity that you need, um, once you start rebuilding something, that's the whole point of the tower. You're going to be rebuilding it. The Two of Pentacles is coming out again. The Eight of Cups is coming out again. You're wanting to move on from past shit. You're like, I'm done with it. I want to heal the heartbreak. I want to get this done and out, out of the way. I feel like that you're going to really step into your power with the Page of Swords. You're, you're researching how you can do this. Like, you're trying to be very strategic with how you're going to make something come out. Because you want to make something come back together. We do have the Five of Cups in reverse. So before it was the Five of Cups and you were depressed about something. But now it's the Five of Cups in reverse. Now you're stepping into your confidence and you're saying, you know what? We're going to rip all this shit down and we're going to start all over again. It's almost like you're finding your voice and you're like, we're going to move on and we're going to move on together. And this is what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And we're going to heal from this, damn it. And I feel like that you're being very determined and letting something be known. With the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is somebody who is very loving, very giving. And I feel like that this is you. And you're trying to offer that olive branch. You could be giving an apology, um, trying to make something happen um, when it comes to the love department. Okay? We have Justice here. Justice is you understanding this is the karmic card okay so justice is you understanding that you have to get outside of your comfort zone and realize that what you put into something is what you're going to get out of it okay you're wanting to balance the scales when it comes to something the king of swords you could be dealing with an air sign um aquarius libra gemini but this person you know you want to ascend to the next level with them um you know they are very honest they are cutthroat they will cut you off and i feel like that this is a person that you're truly trying to make amends with and it looks like that you could possibly be ascending with this person and you both could be making a judgment call and choosing to be reciprocal and choosing to um, get outside your comfort zone and make something new and build something new together. And even though it could be stressing you out with the nine of swords, and the Five of Pentacles might make you feel like you're doing certain things by yourself. You're still getting the Ace of Swords. You're still getting clarity here for a new beginning. Okay? You're getting all the clarity that you need. Everything is not perfect. Like, nothing is perfect. But you're going to be get, getting the clarity that you need in order to go forward with a certain situation. Okay? So we're going to pull some Spirit Animal Message cards.
All right, Spirit, what? What advice do you have for my cancer babies for the week? What advice do you have for my cancer babies for the week? What advice do you have for my cancer babies for the week? Okay, so we have the hair, we have the otter, we have the owl, and we have the penguin. Bottom deck energy is the starfish. So the hair says strength. Take time to make clear decisions. Bring awareness and light to the situation. We have otter. Initiations. Be open through this tra transitional time. See, that goes along with the Four of Wands of you transitioning with somebody. We have the Owl, Sight. Detach your emotions. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Keep in mind that you could be laying your heart out on the line, but you could be dealing with the person who, you know, um, maybe they're being more practical or maybe they're really, you know, in their head about making the decision of, you know, making this amend, you know, like making this come back together. Penguin, diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. We have the starfish, which is initiation. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less and feel more. Okay, so that is what I have for you for the week, Cancers. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, let me know if you resonate, share if you want to. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.